this new one is really really good so you go insert you don't even have to put put a table in word you just hit insert uh chart line and uh just hit okay don't worry about which one you could choose the style but i reckon just the first one all right um you, did you have temperatures or you just said hot cold okay i think let's not use this category let's use instead of line i reckon the scatter one will work okay so we'll go insert chart and we'll go to the scatter yep okay and then what it will do is it will put this and give you this little excel kind of spreadsheet that you can use now your um let's call this temperature And so give me your temperature values, the low starting from lowest. 0 0.2 degrees, and it was cold. And then? 23 degrees, and then? 40. Oh, you had 36 as well? 86. All right. So in this chart, what I'm going to do is just, I don't know if you can see clearly, but I'm just going to drag, so you can, you see this purple part, I can just kind of drag it, make it part of that 86, and that one's already the full thing, and uh, okay, tell me the number of bubbles, so I'll label that bubbles, not that, okay, um, what was for? almost zero degrees what did you get 200 um, for 23 degrees 41 and then for 40 degrees yep 96 97 okay so at zero degrees 0 0.2 you had 269 you can see the way it's, it's going really well Okay, so you had four pieces of data and that's four there. All right, then we can just add stuff like your axis titles, um, chart title, you can change all that. You don't need data label. Error bars are good, we'll put them later on. You don't need a legend, you don't need a trend line. We need this, this plot to solid line, let's see. basically it we change the layout okay so let's see if it adds those lines yep there we go so look at uh, here Yegi so that's your graph it's a bit weird the way you're seeing it's going, but you can explain it. So at zero degrees, for some reason, it was really active. At 20 something degrees, the activity dropped ridiculously. And then at 40 degrees, it started to increase and then decreased again. So somehow, for you, for the liver, the catalase was most effective, basically at zero degrees. Okay? So. Again, that's fine. Sometimes your, your data won't make sense, right? But as long as you explain it really well. There'll be parts, sources of error where you can explain what happened, you know? Um, then maybe say that, you know, if you ignored that zero degrees, there might have been something wrong. So if you look here, if you kind of ignore that zero degrees, um, <coughs> let me try and get rid of it. That point there, if I can delete that one. I deleted my whole graph. Um, all 
right. Look, what you could do here really good is this. Um, you could have that graph, one graph like that, and then go to edit data again and get rid of that first temperature. Right, so we'll just delete that temperature and that temperature. And then you can kind of argue and say that at zero degrees, right, there was an error in the in what the procedure, what we did. And if you look at this graph now, that kind of makes sense. And it tells us that at 20 degrees, the activity or the reaction rate was low. Then its optimal temperature was at about 37 degrees, 40 degrees, right? That's, room, that's body temperature. And then as the temperature increased further from 40 degrees, we found it to, the activity to reduce. That's only if we ignore that zero degrees. Any questions? So do you understand how to plot these graphs and stuff? And then you label your axes, you know, you just double click them and label those. Don't forget units. Any questions? <coughs>